Okay, my Office 365 friends, just when I think I have gotten you the latest and greatest information on the tools in Office 365, something new evolves. So you're going to notice today when you go into forms that they have changed a couple of different things. So now when you go to create a new form, you have an option to either do a quiz or a form. So for teachers, this quiz option is probably going to be your best bet because this is going to allow you to pick the types of questions where you get to pre-select the correct choice. So when you click on new quiz, you're not going to see anything vastly different from um, previous videos, but when you click add question, what you're going to see now is that choice is the only option. You don't see quiz and choice. So the word choice now refers to a quiz type of question. And you'll know that because when you hover over the answer choices, you get that little check mark over here where you can indicate the correct choice. So that's one of the changes that they have here. The other choice that they've added, which is going to make my math teachers very, very happy, is they have added math equations symbols. So let's say this quiz is going to be math related. When you come down to this little ellipse over here next to required, you're going to see an option that says math. So when you click on this, you will have the ability now to enter an equation as part of your question. And the way that you will do that, as soon as you put your cursor in that box, you will get an equation editor that pops up. So now if you want to be able to put in fractions, you can do so just by clicking in the little gray boxes that are provided. And then you have the calculator so that you can do symbols. And lo and behold, we now have an equation editor embedded into forms. Same thing goes for your question types. Once you put in your cursor into one of the, the answer choices, you can get your equation editor and then you can put in different equations as, as answer choices as well. So these are the equations that they have available now. Of course they may evolve and add additional ones, but just wanted to keep you up to date on some of the new changes that just came out in using forms.